talk to Detective Cheney regarding the homicide of Dedrick Allen. Detective Cheney, can you tell me about the homicide of Dedrick Allen? Yes, ma'am. On May the 4th of 2015, around 6.59, uh, Dedrick Allen was at a house at 206 West Lauren Land Road. Uh, I know that two individual, black male individuals, came inside the house. Once inside the house, there was some type of altercation that occurred. Uh, Mr. Allen was shot and killed during his altercation. And at this time, I'm currently still investigating as an open, open case. I just want to express my condolences. I, kn I know this happened May 4th of 2015. Yes. Um, we're going to go back to that day. If you could tell me about that day. Uh, we received a call about, my daughter received a call about 6, 6.30 and telling us that uh, Duke had been shot and he was, the ambulance was taking him to um, Methodist. He was funny, always smiled, you know, and if he got into a confrontation with anybody, he would try to solve it, you know, before he leave. And he was, he was a father of two. He had two kids, Kylan and Casey. <sighs> Kylan is 12 and Casey, she'll be nine. But, you know, to his kids, he was a good dad to his kids. He loved his kids. And the day he died, I remember uh, talking to my niece and a couple of hours before he got killed, I remember telling her he, he was so, I said, he's so sweet. And he was, anything you needed him to do, he would do it, you know, with no nothing. Mama, I'll do it, you know. He was just a sweet person. Are you in constant contact with Detective Cheney? Yes. Okay. Has that helped you um, as far as where the case goes? And it has helped me to know that he's still he's still on the case because I have asked him. You know, is this just a cold case that y'all just forget about? He said, No. You know, it's not. That you know, he'll do all he can. So, if you could say something to the person who committed this murder, what would you say to them? I really just want them to, you know, just come forth and just admit what they did, you know. Uh, you know, everybody make mistakes, you know, just get it right, you know. It's been tough. Take the time to say. You know, Duke didn't deserve to go out like this, you know. And if anybody got any information, we would appreciate it if you would come forth, you know. You know, we wish this on nobody's family. It's, it's tough, especially for the kids' sakes, you know. We just, we just need the public's help. Because this is an open case, is there any information other than what you've already shared that you, that we can get out to the public? Is there anything you want to say to the public as far as, you know, helping you solve this case? Yes, I know that uh, it's two black male individuals that's involved in it. Uh, I believe they left in a blue four-door vehicle. Uh, I believe also it was other individuals inside the house when this in incident took place that could be considered a witness. Maybe they're just scared to come forward. And so I'm hoping uh, with putting this information out that they'll come forward so I can uh, bring some closure to this family.